SIUE with the basketball. This is none. Davis out away from the play. How about Salisic from three? Yeah, Salisic. I mean, this guy, big bucket after big bucket. Cougars' first lead since a 28-26 lead with 5.23 to play in the first half. He's got a 13. His career high is 16 against UTPA. Salisic having a nice game. Here's Payne. Drive and kick. A little strong on the three. Good rebound. Tim Johnson. Should have followed his own shot. Nobody does that anymore, hardly. Eight minutes left here in the second half. Cougars, Marty, look like they just want to make sure they have a controlled and a positive offensive possession here. Yeah, their game plan has been great. I've loved the way they've played this contest. You're just in a position now to win. Got to pull that one out of traffic. Five to shoot. Salasic drives, and they lost the basketball. That was a good look, just a little too much heat. How about Christian Salasic, though, this afternoon? He has had quite the game for the Cougars. 54-53 because of that three-pointer from the Aussie. SIUE on top by one, 54-53. It's SIUE with a one-point advantage over Murray State here this afternoon in Ohio Valley Conference basketball, and Christian Salisic has been a big reason for the Cougars with that lead. Boy, he has really given this team a boost. Been hot from deep, three for three from three-point range. Tough shot there with a the hand of the face. He's four for five from the field. Nice open look there. He, he's been tremendous. He's really given this team a boost, and it's one of the big reasons why they're only, you know, why they're up one with seven and a half left. Marty, you said it early in this contest that you like the addition of Salasic to this program and, and what he brings, and, and you even said then he hits big shots. He's done it today. Yes, he's definitely done it today. Played at the, uh, the famed Australia Institute of Sport, produced a lot of stars, Andrew Bogut, Matthew Deladova, Cody Ellis from SLU, to name a few. 54-53, Cougars, Murray State with the basketball. Seven and a half to play. You got him right where you want him, Joe. Has all the makings of a great finish here this afternoon. We're glad he could join us here on Fox Sports Midwest. 54-53, Payne with the basketball for the Racers. Right side for Sapp. The transfer from Clemson has had a big impact for Murray State. And the steal, Salasic on the defensive end to the hole, he's blocked. And a loose ball collision, and the ball is out of play, and it's wow. going to be a Murray State basketball. I, I think I'd like to see a replay on that, but I think Lester may have gotten pushed. Salas just had the right idea to try to draw that contact. Salasic with the pick right there. Good, good block. Well, that's close. Cougars don't get the loose basketball. So Murray State with it again. Down one. Just less than seven to play here. TJ Sapp thought about the three. Now Payne will drive. Runner too strong. Big rebound from Nunn. Roselle Nunn with the big defensive board. Things are getting physical down there in the paint. And Salasic and Nunn have been outstanding this afternoon. That's the fifth rebound from Roselle Nunn. 6.29 left. Stewart just on the line, long jumper, wouldn't go. Tip out from Johnson, but hung on to by Moss. Wide open look there, and he was way off. Steve Prome directing his team from the sideline for Murray State. Dexter Fields leaves it for Payne. Cougars trying to keep the racers on the perimeter. They want them away from the basket. And here's a three from Sapp. No. Oh. It rimmed wow. out. There's a good contingent of Murray State fans up over the Murray State bench. I'll tell you what, Joe, there's a lot of energy in this building. There's a lot of fans here. This is an important game. You could hear the collective sigh when that one wouldn't stay down for the racers. And the Cougars call a timeout here with 5.52 to play and a one-point lead. Well, the Cougars took that one-point advantage with the three from Salisic. Since then, they've missed twice, and they've had to take the timeout, so... They haven't had great offensive possession since that point. Yeah. Defense has been good, too. The Cougars are third in the OVC in points allowed per game. I've been impressed with the defense. May have been a carry there. Tim Johnson gives it off to Salasic. Salasic with five to shoot. 
And it's knocked out of bounds. Right off of Nunn's foot. Although Salasic is claiming it was deflected out. Wow. And they're going to get that call. That's big. It's a tough pass there on the baseline from Salasic. who went off the uh, toes of Nunn. Only three to shoot here for the Cougars. Nunn will take it. He got it! Roselle Nunn puts the Cougars up three with 5.20 to play. If you're that defender, you've got to get a hand in that face. You can't give them that much of an open look with only three seconds on the shot clock. Exactly. That's what I would say. Just Murray State has to realize, too, that the Cougars are under pressure. It's a three-point lead. Nunn has 16. Big they possession here. Right. Moss and Payne. They're trying to get into the teeth of this zone. Now the drive from Sapp, and that one won't go. We've got a foul on Jackson, and Jackson looks like he's in some pain. Let's see what he hit here. Came down hard on his back, it looks like. Is that foul number four, Joe? It is the fourth foul. How about none on that inbound, though. Yeah, and that defender didn't really contest him at all. It's surprising that he had that much space right there. None with 16 this afternoon. This is TJ Sapp at the free throw line, and he missed it. All right, Joe, I mentioned it, you know, early in the game. And their losses this year, they've been bad from the free throw line. They're 9 for 16 right now, so that's, I think, about a mark of about 60%. They're 0 for 3 in the second half from the free throw line. They had nine makes from the line in the first half. Second one will go. Cuts the lead to two with 4.49 to play. Now how much does a game like Thursday night or, or the tight games in general help SIUE now we're coming down under five and it's a tight one again? It's huge. You know, even though they have a lot of close losses uh, that were tight down the stretch, it's still going to help them. Tim Johnson with the basket for the Cougars. The lead back to four for SIUE. On the other end, an off-balance runner. No good and a good defensive board. Joe, that was a terrible decision. That, that was a terrible shot. No reason to rush it. Not no at all. Here's Stewart. Donovan Stewart will retreat on the left wing. Slow things down. Tim Johnson, short with the three-point, but he tracks down the rebound and listen to the crowd. Good hustle. Cougars get a bucket here. Pro may want a timeout. Great hustle. Less than four to play. Cougars by four over Murray State. Trying to make it two straight over the perennial powerhouse. None for three. No, but an offensive foul called beforehand. It's going to be a, an illegal screen, I assume. Lester. So Lester picks up his fourth foul. Cougars on top here. They're up four with 3.47 to play in Edwardsville.